Yom HaShoah is right around the corner, and it really does have special meaning to me because my grandfather, my dad's dad, uh, survived the war and is now living in Florida with me, and we have family members of his, first cousins, that were Oscar Schindler's kids working in the factory. This summer when I went to Israel, we went to Poland first. We went to the Oscar Schindler Museum, and there's this room that has the names of all the people that Schindler saved by having them work in his factory, and it's a giant circular room with the names going around the walls. And I looked and I was like, wow, what if I could find the people that I know on these walls? So I was looking and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna find it. And then it just, it like, it just popped out at me. And I, I was like, I know that person, I know that name, that's, that's my family. And um, without them, I wouldn't be here. And I wouldn't be able to have such a tight connection with my Jewish heritage and Israel and all of the, the, the struggles and hardships that we had to go through as a people. And then when, when I got to Israel, we went to Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Museum there. And there's only one portion of Schindler's list. I saw the same name that I saw on the wall in Poland in the Oscar Schindler factory. And for me to see that my family members that risked so much to make their children, their grandchildren, uh, their cousins, their aunts, their uncles, everybody able to practice Judaism freely, it was, it was such an amazing feeling to know that they're still being remembered. I came back and I had such passion for Israel and I really wanted to feed that more. For me, I want the rest of my life to be dedicated to the state of Israel and advocating for Israel and working with people that love Israel because it means so much to me and it gives me such a sense of pride and fulfillment. Well, I'm Amy Richmond, I am a 16-year-old high school student from Boca Raton, Florida.